what is a preposition a preposition is a word which shows the relation between a noun or a pronoun and some other word in a sentence it shows the position of persons and things a preposition is usually placed before a noun or a pronoun it indicates the connection between the noun or pronoun it precedes and some other words in a sentence prepositions are words that help to define the relationship between different elements in a sentence the term preposition means a word that is positioned before another word to know more about them and the exact function let us study about their use in detail examples of preposition prepositions may be a single word or a group of words examples of single word prepositions in on under behind etc examples of multi word prepositions according to in spite of in front of along with etc let's see the note given here to indicate cause reason or purpose we use prepositions such as of and for thus we say died of cancer for our good and took medicine for fever to indicate source or origin we use prepositions such as from thus we say from gratitude and comes from practice there are three types of prepositions prepositions of time prepositions of place position prepositions of movement direction let's look at each of these different types of prepositions in more detail prepositions of time prepositions that indicate when the action takes place are called prepositions of time they are used to indicate a specific period of time such as month date time and day examples the second bell rings at 7 am here the preposition at is used for a precise time second they will go to the hill station in summer as a preposition of time we use in for seasons months years and long periods third example he attends his class on mondays the preposition used here is on we use on for days and dates some other prepositions of time are from till during since for etc time can be indicated by a few other prepositions as well for example after his departure within a month arrived from uh, before him till the evening by 3 o'clock since sunday from 1st january for 10 years prepositions of place prepositions that tell about the position of the things are called prepositions of place or position they give us information about the place location or position it means the prepositions of place are used to refer to the place where something or someone is located examples we live in america here we have used the preposition in example uh, number 2 my house is at the corner of the street here we have used the preposition at in these sentences the prepositions in and at tell us where something or someone is some commonly used prepositions of place are on in above under and so on place can also be indicated by a few other prepositions as well for example stood behind the door lay under the table above the shelf within the classroom stand by my side lies near the port came from new york fell into a large crater stood beside me prepositions of movement direction prepositions that denote the direction of movement of person or things are called prepositions of movement or direction they are used to show the movement to or from a place examples amit is driving to nainital here we have used the preposition to 
The train went through the tunnel. Here we have used the preposition through. Some commonly used prepositions of direction are towards, around, across, into, etc. Certain preposition of movement or direction can also be indicated by a few other prepositions as well. For example, down the road, over the bridge, off the road, round the sun, into the pool, onto a ship. Prepositions for both time and place. Let's see some more examples. The mangoes are in the basket. Here, in is the preposition of place. Anu was born in 2020. Here, the preposition in shows time. He met me at the railway station. Here, at is the preposition of place. Aman met him at 10 a.m. Here, the preposition at shows time. Certain verbs, adjectives and participles are always followed by particular prepositions. Look at these sentences with examples of some prepositions that are commonly used. This region is inaccessible to foreigners. You should not be sensitive to criticism. I have a craving for chocolates. I must pay attention to details. The child is busy with his toys. He was found guilty of the crime. You must apologize to them. He has not recovered from his illness. I am convinced of his innocence. Let's see some nouns followed by prepositions. Duty to. There is an example sentence also. You have some duty to your parents. Faith in. We have full faith in our leaders. Key to. Hard work is a key to success. Match for. He is no match for me. Pity for. He has no pity for the poor. Respect for. I have great respect for my teachers. Sympathy for. He has no sympathy for the poor. Taste for. He has no taste for music. Victory over. He won victory over his rivals. Certain adjectives followed by prepositions. Afraid of. I am not afraid of him. Aware of. He was not aware of his defects. Blind of. The man was blind of one eye. Doubtful of. I am doubtful of your success. Eager for. He is eager for fame. Envious of. He is envious of his friend. Familiar with. Are you familiar with him? Now in the last slide, let's see the verbs followed by prepositions. Abide by. You must abide by the rules of the game. Accede to. He did not accede to my request. Agree with. A person. He did not agree with me. Agree to. A proposal. I agreed to his proposal. Complain of. He is complaining of headache. Consist of. A class consists of 30 girls. Consists in. His greatness, greatness consists in remaining calm in the face of dangers. Invite to. I invited him to tea. Long for. Everyone longs for peace. Now here this table lists some common mistakes that should be guarded against. He ordered for my transfer. Look at the use of prepositions here. This is incorrect. The correct sentence would be, he ordered my transfer. Second example, the team comprised of 14 members. The correct answer would be, the team comprised 14 members. Third example, there is no exception of this rule. It is incorrect. There is no exception to this rule. Correct sentence. Next example, he was angry upon me. The upon here is wrong. Let's see the correct sentence. He was angry with me. Last example given here. Byron was a temporary to Keats. The correct sentence would be Byron was a temporary of Keats.